Number 11. French Bulldog Though there are species of dogs infamous for their vicious and dangerous bite, French Bulldogs aren't considered particularly risky pets. Lisa Urso was an animal lover and rescuer who referred to her pets as her four-legged children. That's why it was surprising when her friends and family discovered she'd been mauled to death by her French Bulldog mix, Blue. Blue was just two years old and weighed less than 55 pounds, which is about the size of a Border Collie, but larger than the average French Bulldog. Ursa was found dead in her apartment, with wounds to her face and torso. The scene was described as gruesome, and there were clear indications of a struggle. Number 10. Cow Though cows have the reputation of being dim-witted and lazy, there have been several incidents in which these animals were surprisingly vicious. Five of every ten deaths caused by cows each year are the result of herd actions instead of individual animals. They exhibit defensive and offensive behavior when feeling threatened, such as charging against a human or beast and stamping the ground in tandem. Patricia Ann Ganderton, a 64-year-old farmer, was in the process of helping one of her cows bond with its calf. She had separated them to allow the mother to graze undisturbed. The cow became aggressive and ran toward Ganderton when she opened the gate. The farmer was caught by surprise and struck so hard that she was thrown over three feet in the air. The woman landed on her head and lost consciousness. Ganderton was rushed to the hospital and was admitted into intensive care in spite of the doctor's efforts to save her life. The elderly woman died 13 days later. Number 9. Duck Ducks are known to be violent but usually they can do little harm to the people they attack. Most victims suffer from bruises and, in more extreme cases, torn finger tendons. In the case of Leon Resnick, his encounter with a callous duck ended up being deadly. Resnick was using a jet ski in Pompano Beach while working for Riva Yamaha. He was part of a team testing the small vessel's speed. His teammate turned around to check the radar gun and was surprised to notice Resnick had disappeared when he looked back up. The 31-year-old had been struck by a flying duck and knocked into the water. He suffered blunt force trauma to the head and lost consciousness. Unfortunately, his co-worker didn't find him in time and Resnick drowned before anyone could rescue him. Though he was eventually discovered and taken to the shore, CPR didn't work and he was declared dead upon arriving at the hospital. The duck was found nearby and it had also died in the collision. Number 8. Sheep Sheep are not considered especially intimidating and their relatively small size means they don't pose much of a threat to human beings. That being said, there was an incident in 2016 in which a horde of violent sheep killed a 94-year-old man. The victim's name wasn't disclosed. His body was found by his family in a small village in southwest France. He had severe injuries on both his knees and face. Though the cause of death was a mystery at first, a post-mortem examination offered a surprising answer. He had been trampled to death by sheep. The flock rammed against the elderly man, pushing him onto the ground and attacked him with their heads and hoofs. It's theorized that the sheep were trying to defend one of their lambs from a perceived threat. Number 7. Slow Loris Slow Loris is a small, nocturnal primate native to Southeast Asia. With large eyes, tiny heads and a timid nature, they're considered interesting by many and non-threatening by most. Surprisingly though, they are deceptively dangerous and produce a type of venom that can be lethal to human beings. They secrete this substance from their elbows and when it's mixed with saliva it becomes highly toxic. Though human fatalities are rare, being bitten by a loris might result in a deadly anaphylactic shock reaction. Biologist George Madani nearly died after his encounter with a slow loris. He was visiting Borneo and exploring the local fauna when he ran into the seemingly cute and unaggressive primate. The loris most likely felt intimidated and it bit Madani's finger. He was rushed to the hospital as he'd gone into anaphylactic shock. Fortunately, the doctors were able to save him. Number 6. Beaver Beavers may not seem like a significant threat to human beings, but they can be unexpectedly aggressive when they feel their territory is being invaded. They can also infect people with rabies, which is deadly if left untreated. When a fisherman from Belarus saw a beaver while spending the day at Lake Shestakov with friends, he decided he wanted a selfie with the cute animal. However, when the unnamed man came too close, the beaver reacted by biting him on the thigh. 
The bite itself wouldn't have been lethal in most cases, but the small rodent severed a major artery, forcing blood to gush out faster than his friends could react. The unnamed man bled out within minutes and he was dead before the emergency services arrived. Number 5. Goat Goats are often territorial in the wild and have been known to headbutt both other animals and humans, but rarely do these strikes yield a deadly outcome. That, however, wasn't the case on October the 17th of 2010 at Olympic National Park. Robert H. Boardman was 63 years old when he decided to go hiking with his wife. When they arrived at the top of Plahane Ridge, they encountered a particularly aggressive mountain goat. Boardman, wanting to protect his wife, instructed her to continue down the trail while he tried to shoo the goat away. Moments later, Mrs. Boardman heard a loud scream. She rushed back and found several other hikers approaching the trail, alerted by the yell. Try as they did to help Boardman, who was lying unconscious on the ground, the goat wouldn't let them near. A park worker called the dispatcher immediately and began trying to lure the wild animal away. He eventually achieved this by having people shout along the slope. Because of this, the unconscious man didn't receive medical help for 50 minutes after the initial distress call was placed. Unfortunately, by then he had no pulse. Boardman was airlifted to the nearest hospital but was announced dead on arrival. Number 4. Swan Anthony Hensley was kayaking in the Chicago pond when he paddled by a swan. This bird is a typical sight around such areas so most people wouldn't feel threatened by their presence. This is why Hensley, aged 37, was caught by surprise when the swan actually rammed him, throwing him into the water. Two witnesses were watching the scene from the shore and when they didn't see him resurface, they called 911. Hensley hadn't been wearing a life vest. The swan didn't leave the pond, but rather continued to attack the drowning man while he struggled to go afloat. Hensley, wearing boots and heavy clothing, died trying to swim back to the shore as horrified witnesses looked on. It was later suspected that Hensley might have inadvertently gotten too close to its nesting area. Number 3. Horse Around 20 deaths are related every year to horses in the United States alone. Most of them are related to riding accidents, however, a handful of occurrences are a direct result of aggressive or frightened horses attacking human beings with their powerful hind legs. Equines can exert up to 2,000 pounds of pressure per square inch in every kick. To put things into perspective, that is a greater force than the one delivered by a hippopotamus bite. In 2007, a 20-year-old stable girl experienced that force firsthand. Lucy Simpson was working at a riding school, assisting in delivering a foal when the vet left the room to search for the necessary vaccines and antibiotics. Simpson was instructed to hold the newborn, but while she attempted to do so, the mare viciously attacked her. It's believed that it was trying to protect its foal. The vet and other people at the school tried to revive Simpson, but to no avail. She lost consciousness and was rushed to the ER, but she never recovered and was declared dead. Number 2. Chicken Chickens are considered clumsy and mostly inoffensive farm animals. They can't fly and their beaks aren't strong enough to cause significant harm to a human being. However, when forced into illegal cockfights, sometimes blades are attached to their legs to attract bigger bets. This activity is forbidden by law in most countries, but there are still plenty of illegal fights worldwide. In India, a 55-year-old man was attending a cockfight when things got out of control. One of the chicken's handlers grabbed the bird, attempting to get it in the arena. However, the chicken panicked and began lashing out violently. The sharp knives attached to his legs proved deadly when they struck Saripali Venkataswara Rao in the abdomen. Though Rao was rushed to the ER, there was nothing that doctors could do to help him. Number 1. Giraffe 25 years old Marieke Engelbrecht decided to take her dogs for a walk on a game farm in South Africa. She was an avid animal lover, so when an aggressive giraffe began trotting towards her, she tried to protect her pets. Though giraffes are herbivores and don't hunt prey, they still have powerful legs, capable of killing a grown human being. Attacks are unusual, but when feeling threatened, these animals can be vicious. One of Engelbrecht's dogs noticed a herd of giraffes and excitedly rushed towards them. The pet owner followed behind and was kicked directly in the neck. The sheer force of the blow was so powerful that it killed her instantly. 
Engelbrecht was declared dead at the scene when medical aid arrived in the area. Thanks for watching. Have you ever been attacked by any animal, not counting mosquitoes and other small insects? Let us know in the comments section below.